Schnellenberger holds a unique spot as a college football legend in the type of jobs he took and transformed. Tyler Griever joins us now, and Tyler, that impact stretches all the way from Florida to Kentucky. Yeah, and you touched on that. This guy was a builder. When you talk to the people who worked with him directly, whether it was his former sports information director at Miami or two former quarterbacks at Louisville, it's the building, the innovating that made Howard Schnellenberger who he was, and he came back to his hometown to do it. Well, this is a great opportunity, and this is the type of thing that pioneer football players uh, can dream of. He was 100% willing to take something that someone else didn't want because he knew he could build it into something special. Six straight losing seasons and a relevancy made that tough to see at Louisville. What he started with was, was pretty much next to nothing. I know for sure there were some talks about uh, the program shutting down, and there were some struggles along the way. Things didn't just happen overnight. Schnellenberger won just seven games in his first three years, but he kept beating belief into the Cardinals with marathon practices preaching positivity. The difference between winning and losing is about that much. It's about that much. And that, that much is generally made up with the belief that you can win, which is based on the fact that you've done what's necessary to prepare yourself to have that confidence. His fearlessness translated into our fearlessness. His visions became our visions. He got you to believe you were really good, and he talked about you well, and he talked about others to you well. And, you know, it wasn't like he was ever pointing the finger at the players ever. He was always just a a positive factor. I feel as invincible as he's made us out to be. Juggle and then cut. If you survived it, if you trusted it, if you believed in it, if you submitted to it, that was where we found our success. Touchdown, Reggie Ferguson. Those two bowl wins under Schnellenberger, the Fiesta and Liberty, set Louisville up for what Schnellenberger believed it could be. If you're a University of Louisville football fan and you believe that they can compete at the highest level, which they continue to do, it's because of Howard Schnellenberger. There's not many coaches that have taken on the challenges that he has and done the things he's done. It's amazing to hear all of that and know he's not in the College Football Hall of Fame, but Haley, all of these guys I talked to today shared the belief that that's got to change and it will change.